Hi guys, today I'm doing a quick review and teardown on one of these LED solar lights. So I've got one of them here. I actually purchased two of these. One is already installed at home, and this is the one that we're going to tear apart today. Um, you can see the product page here. I bought this one from Amazon. So you can see here it was $15.23. This is Australian dollars. Um, and you can see here it's got the solar panel on top. It's got a little PIR sensor, so it's, it has a motion sensor. And underneath it has four LEDs. And I'll show you that there, four LEDs. And I was a little bit skeptical of that. I was like, oh, four, LED, four LEDs. I don't know if that's going to be bright enough, but um, it actually turns out that it is. It's bright enough. It's, it's possible. Um, it's, it's not as bright as a normal main sort of spotlight outside, but it's enough that I can see my way to the front door and find my keys and all of those sort of things. Um, so it works, it works really well. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, now it comes with um, little mounting screw holes as you can see there, but it also has uh, peel and stick foam on the back. Actually, I can show you that now. Just pull this one out of the packet. You can see that's the front of the device. And here on the back, it's got this peel and stick double-sided tape. So you just peel that red layer off and, and it will stick onto any surface really. Um, so I've used that. It's, it's now been up for five weeks um, in the rain and direct sunlight and all those sort of things. I didn't clean the surface very well. It was like a metal painted um, little bar and I just sort of stuck it on that uh, and it's worked quite well. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that too and so far it's been quite good. It's, it's been charging up nicely and working every night. I've got it um, mounted so that as my car pulls in to the carport the light comes on, I can get out the car and see my way all the way to the front gate and unlock it and, and it's all good. So the LEDs are, are bright enough. It's a cool white LED, not a warm white. I usually prefer a warm white, but in this case it's sort of like, it's more of a utility thing. I just want to see where I'm going. It's not about comfort. It's not inside sort of thing. Um, but you can see here it says uh, automatic switch, auto on at night, off at sunrise. That's common for these solar LED lights. Um, and it dims when no motion and bright light activates when sensing motion. So when it sits there at night time, it's sort of like a really dim light coming out of it and it, it's almost like a firefly light. Um, and when you walk anywhere near it, and it's got quite a decent range, when you walk anywhere near it, it it'll go to full brightness. And it stays on for maybe five or ten seconds. Um, it's not quite as long as, as I would like it to be. I usually as I'm getting my keys and things, it activates maybe two or three times. Um, but I think they're just doing that to save on battery life. Um, so that's fine. I mean, it's, it's a minor inconvenience. Um, I'll just scroll down the page here. You can see there's a bit of comparison with some other models. Some of these have like 20 LEDs and um, many more LEDs. Um, but again, I was quite happy with the brightness. It's, it's fine for what I'm using it for. Um, down here, you can see some of the dimensions. It's all in inches and ounces and those sort of old school measurements. But if you have a look at this, it's, it's about that. You know, I can hold it in my hand. It's, it's quite small. I'd say it's about 12 centimetres by maybe 10 centimetres. Um, and it sticks out by about 5 centimetres. Um, yeah, so that's fine. It's got a uh, lithium battery. Um, as I said, rechargeable, obviously, with a solar. Um, and it's got a 4 out of 5 star rating. And uh, yeah, it seems to be quite popular. So. We're going to run downstairs again. Um, I'm going to take to this with a screwdriver and we'll see what makes it tick. Here's the box that the solar light came in. And on the back, there's some uh, interesting stats. So we've got a lithium ion battery, 2.22 watt hours is what they're claiming. LED light of 6,000 to 6,500K. Um, so it's a sort of a, a blue white or a, sorry, a cool white, 80 lumens. Motion angle is 120 degrees and the distance is 10 feet or three meters. And I can, uh, I can say that that is true. Um, it's got quite a, di a decent distance on the PIR sensor. 10 second time delay um, and auto switching on or off for day and night. Without further ado, we'll take this out of the packet. So you can see there's the light itself. Um, just comes in some bubble wrap. We've got this is the uh, manual that came with it. I mean, I don't know why you'd really need to use this except for maybe um, turning the thing on and off. There's a quick little diagram of how it all works. Um, but yeah, basically 
Oh, I'll just show you this as well. It comes with a mounting kit with some screws and the uh, little mounts for that. It also comes with a little um, key, or it's basically the same as a little paper clip. So this thing is, is so that you can turn the thing on or off because when they put it in the box, they obviously want to have this thing off and then when you install it, you click this button, you can see it's just turned on there and that's it's quite bright. Let's take this thing apart and see what we've got inside. Looks like we've just got four screws on the back here. By the way, you see how this is a magnetized screwdriver? You can always buy these little things, and this is to um, demagnetize. So if I do that, just pass it over, you see it takes the magnetism off the screwdriver. And if I want it back again, see, let's put it back again. So you can buy these little things from on eBay and things that are like a buck each, but they're really handy if you want to magnetize or demagnetize your screwdrivers. Just thought I'd show you that quickly. So we've taken the, f the four screws off the back of this, and I'm assuming it's just going to come apart. There it is. Okay. So you can see the big lithium battery in there straight away. You can also see this rubber seal here. It's interesting how they've done this because they've sealed up and around the, the top, but they left the bottom open, unsealed. So I'm guessing what that means is you, you're going to stop the rain and weather and the wind and things getting in around the sides here, but it'll naturally sort of um, dry itself through the bottom. So that's a decent enough sort of design. The problem with weatherproof seals is if you seal them all around and you, and you do have a failure, it tends to keep moisture in as well. Um, so at least like this, it will dry out. We'll see how that how that goes. Um, they've got a little bit of foam tape here just to hold the lithium cell in in against the, the back there. Um, looks like our connection wires for the LEDs. So that there has been glued in. If you have a look there, so it's been glued. I can see a PCB down inside there. So I'm going to carefully, I don't want to damage this cell or puncture it. I can make for some exciting video, but I don't want to burn myself or anything. I'm going to try and pry this thing out carefully. Okay. So it looks like that just wants to lift up. See the battery connecting wires here. They've got some capped on tape over these contacts. Oh yeah, you can see that glue in there. And they've got this piece of plastic just as an extra little cover. Okay, that's starting to just sort of ripping this glue. It's like a silicon. So you can see on this battery there's a date code of 2015, November the 6th. Um, and the other numbers there, I'm not sure what they mean, maybe just a manufacturing code of some sort. Um, can't read the other side. This piece of plastic here is sort of taped on, but I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything written there or I can't see that. I've accidentally pulled the wire off the board in doing that, so I'll have to resolder that later when I put this together. So you can see in here we have this little PCB. On the other side of that is the PIR and the solar cell is just wired through the top here. And that's basically it. Okay, so I've just taken this board out. I'm just carefully, it's all sort of wired in place. But you can see the PIR sensor there. Little passive infrared sensor. What I might do is actually just chuck this under the microscope and see if we can identify any of these components. So this is the top side of the PCB. You can see the, the large package to the left is unmarked. Um, so I don't know what that is exactly. We're going to have a zoom in here at U3 just to see what that is. Uh, 6209RA. I'm having a bit of trouble reading that actually. You might see it better on your screen there. Um, 
But what I really want to look at is I want to flip this board over and have a look at the other side. Um, I'm interested to see what the PIR module looks like. Here's a passive infrared sensor module and you can see it's got a little window on the top um, and I'm, I'm assuming that's like a filter to filter out everything except for the infrared light. And if I go over the side here, there's a couple of interesting packages. These two here, in particular the one at the top, I'll just get a focus on that. 8830BB342D. Not sure what that is. I might have a look at these and um, if I find information I'll, I'll post it up on the screen. So that's basically it. There's a few components going on in there and the PCB is a little bit more involved than I anticipated. Uh, but that's what you get inside one of these LED PIR solar lights. Um, I hope you find that interesting. I'm going to have to repair this little wire here and I'll put it back together. Um, so thanks for having a look and um, I hope you enjoyed it.